Here's my solar dryer. Some tilapia food on the top. Now, this solar dryer is quite big. It is uh, as tall as I am, so it's about six feet, five or something. And it's about six feet, you know, but uh, one meter seventy-five. So this is a very big solar dryer. It's got a piece of glass on the top. Basically, the sun heats up inside. Here's a box. This box is black inside. The sun shines on it. And then it heats up the air. And the air drops through these holes in here. And it basically drops down, taking the moist and heavy air with it. It's counterintuitive because you would think hot air rises, which it does, but moist air drops. So you want to take the air out. So this air goes down and then it goes into the side over here. And both of these sides are hollow and they have a snorkel on it, basically a chimney stack. And that takes the hot air out and the hot moist air out. So basically we got this hot box, air vents, sucking in fresh air, heating it up, dropping it down, and then going out both of the sides, being sucked out because those are higher than this area here, which creates a, a current, a flow of air. As you can see, this is the Moringa. And you, can, you can just hear it, hear that. That is in there for two days, and that is crisp, dry. Now the temperature does not go above 55 degrees. It never really reaches above 55 degrees. Right now it dropped. This is Celsius. So now it's just under 30, but when I opened it up it was at 40 something. And it never goes above 55, which apparently is the ideal temperature for most drying. So it works really well. A solar dryer permanently stationed right here. You can dry just about anything you want and store your food later. Also make fruit leathers and all kinds of things. So solar dryer, just an old piece of glass and a few bits of wood over and out.